Welcome everyone to my new YouTube channel uh, to learn a new program we call this uh, Making of a Shell. This program is a simplified approach for the making of a shell where I can showcase and share my experience in the field of culinary arts. Today's uh, lecture and seminars first day uh, this is a uh, I know this is very important to everyone an interesting topic because an average person would take a meal at least six times a day uh, one in the morning and meal in the morning and the lunch and between the lunch meal and dinner and then of course the uh, midnight snack uh, depending on the status of individual so uh, I'll take this uh, opportunity to introduce myself uh, uh, first and foremost I am delightful to, int uh, to introduce myself uh, I am Abraham Arellano undergraduate of civil engineering mm, due to uh, financial constraints I was unable to uh, wo uh, to uh, study and and rather to work in a small restaurant and get interested to uh, practice in the cooking and eventually it became my habit and it's been a part of my career development through my improvement uh, I've been fascinated and fascinated in the culinary arts and uh, offer me a, a bigger opportunity until I make myself invading the palate world. Fortunately, I have the chance uh, to travel and work overseas in different uh, large or uh, large size establishment worldwide with five star hotels, cruise ship, uh, catering, uh, for services, services uh, and royal residences, and the allied forces in Saudi Arabia. Uh, uh, American compound and in the other uh, food service operation for 18 years. With my experience, I won over myself to achieve my to, uh, for achievement and goals and dream come true being considered as world class chef. So due to the worldwide uh, protocols and during pandemic time brought my attention and interest on gem and gemology learning knowledge program online of uh, gemological institute of america through uh, extensive research and studies on webinar session from uh, there and um, i got an interest and often i tried to discover and explore possible places of the process of gem in different uh, environment and geological setting in our place that my gems may acquire. So in like big chests and rivers and likely uh, have confident finding gems and uh, with ethical source but yet always challenging to work for me to evaluate and disclosure what type of right I may be found because of the lack of expertise and equipment. So as we begin the topic we we are going to talk about uh, the food uh, terminology and dictionary according to the alphabetical uh, order include uh, preparation and um, ingredients of each uh, dish uh, from different countries. So we start now, the, uh, in, the, in this problem we have day one, the uh, Avocat is called um, that is a, this a description that uh, a food from, a uh, dish from Cape Verde Island, and uh, consisting of uh, um, uh, avocado, uh, drizzled with honey. So, uh, next is the abyss. Abyss is uh, a French uh, for a thin crust. Uh, bottom rolled out pastry and biscuits so imagine when you uh, prepare a dessert with uh, the bottom is like biscuit or ginger snap this is to be called determined this is a phrase in France is they call this abyss uh, the uh, aboloni aboloni is a group of uh, gastropod uh, mollusks in warm seas worldwide that a large uh, adductor muscles that fill uh, fills the entire uh, shell and uh, 
with fresh uh, ivory and chibi chesto uh, available in kind also in the supermarket or in other uh, customary store for, for exclusive for the hotels and restaurants uh, uh, available. So the, the, the fourth uh, word of this um, the abascio al forno this is an Italian dish, roasted baby lamb, seasoned with uh, rosemary. So this is our main topic today for you to learn about uh, culinary. This, um, uh, uh, this, um, this dish is uh, originated from Italy, but uh, some, uh, we go deeper version of this. Uh, this is a familiar, very familiar dish even in the hotels and the hybrid restaurants in the world. Uh, so you can also uh, have this uh, version prepare this uh, type of uh, uh, roasted baby lamb in different way depending on its uh, choice of cut. It may be a fillet, maybe a rack of lamb, maybe a leg. leg. So this is um, a special uh, menu for some uh, establishment restaurants that is uh, uh, opening a la carte then and other uh, uh, is, uh, hotels and uh, but the cruise ship like the cruise ship this is uh, a popular uh, popular dish uh, so of the uh, Aberdeen Angus um, this is a, a type of uh, a young cow that is uh, being castrated uh, uh, I mean scattered castrated and of black uh, horned steer known as Angus so this is a uh, this can be a uh, butcher about six to nine months and age so this is a very young cattle a state cattle so, uh, so the word abyss this abyss is a mixture of a uh, leaf uh, flavor with beef flavor with ginger onion mm, garlic tomato mm, used in stuffing for an uh, open or papaya or an unripened papaya and bell pepper potatoes and then you t this is a uh, originated in the european cuisine so this um, method of cooking they use in the uh, european cuisine is uh, baking or uh, because uh, or baking or uh, moist heat uh, uh, dry heat procedure because uh, they used to stuff the whole paper with uh, this uh, mixture of uh, uh, grind beef uh, and then our other mi mix, uh, uh, mixed vegetables or that, uh, that added to the flavor. So stuffing, like they use the stuffing. So this is, uh, we can also use in the Filipina the, or traditional pokeri or method of cooking. Yeah. Abundance. This is a, a, a word from France. Also, this is a semi kind of cow milk uh, cheese from France and is a um, creamy brown in yellow interior, uh, buttery, fruity, uh, fruity flavor, and excellent in melting cheese. So, we go on on the next uh, the terminology of the abon, and this is a uh, fried, sweetened. Uh, and spice flakes of poultry, beef, uh, pork or fish, uh, shell peas used in, for garnish in Chinese cuisine or in Indonesian rice dishes. So this is flakes, it's dried, dried the, the flavor or salted dried fish or meat whenever and they flakes it uh, in a thread, uh, smooth thread and when they stir fry with a season it and garnish with fried rice or other base as the whole dish uh, that's good for um, uh, known in Indonesia and other uh, Chinese cuisine so this is a jar this a jar is also an Indonesian uh, dish or meal this is spice cooked uh, vegetable usually cabbage with vinegar and other chilies this um, a jar is an Indonesian spice uh, pork vegetable. So we go next uh, word or terminology the uh, the abuayer. Uh, the abuayer is a uh, is a a person is responsible in the food service operation. You know, uh, a per, uh, accept orders. Mm, 
from dining room and uh, release the order them to the uh, various station chef known as the expediter. So this is uh, a system of uh, service, food service in the hotel or in the Koshi or other service, uh, establishment food service restaurant that is usually they have a, a, a person who is uh, called the aware. aware. This is French word. Mm -hmm. So we next on the uh, Bruce de Sea, an Italian um, preparation method. A bread is a um, Italian preparation method associated with in Italy at a uh, uh, brusi. Yeah, that's what they call this a uh, They 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 name the this after the town or the place where it was uh, originated. The this uh, the generous of use of hot chili. So this is a uh, of course this, uh, probably a uh, hot dish. Yeah, because of the. Now uh, use of chilies, much chilies, too much uh, generous use of chilies. So this uh, absence we see, the word absence we see is, is, a, is a, also a transfer, it is a type of cocktail made of absenta, absent penor, or uh, a type of um, this cocktail mm, uh, with egg white, mix of mixture of egg white, heavy cream, syrup an ice mix on blender and serve with a uh, cold or old fashioned glass. These are usually served in the bar or in the cocktail lounge or the bar. Uh, they execute this uh, position of the bartender or in the uh, cafe. Mm -hmm. So there was another also word that uh, um, Akanaruha, this is a Akanaruha means this is, this is a Brazilian word uh, referring to the Brazilian black eye peel. This, this is traditional uh, Brazilian fritters with a mixture of black eye peel. Uh, fritters, so that means fritter means is the frying. This is a dry heat procedure. Flavored with dried shrimp and served with sauce of made from dried shrimp too. Uh, and uh, onion, cheese, and ginger, and, and, and the oil of then the oil. Uh. So we call another dish, which is this, uh, a chara. This is famous for Filipino. Uh. They, they use as a release uh, in some dishes of Filipino to complement the dish. Uh. So uh, this is a Filipino release and pickled in, uh, in fruits or in vegetable garnished with a grated green papaya and pickled cabbage. So there are a lot of versions of pickled uh, prepared by Filipinos and different uh, method or different ways of uh, they call this a uh, special chara uh, depending on the re regional uh, uh, preparation for them. So next is the um, the word the acacia thai seed a uh, sweet this is a sweet seed we usually this uh, used in uh, Philippines or some Asian countries so this is a seed of anato tree native in South America and uh, uh, as yellow to red orange a uh, polarizing agent for food uh, for also use the use color in butter uh, and cheese uh, they also use a uh, color in margarine and uh, a smoked fish they use also this uh, kind of seed this an uh, ashwiti seed so the next uh, terminology or the dictionary term uh, used by portuguese is the uh, acordas the acorda Mm -hmm. This is a type of Portuguese uh, soup uh, made from a uh, broth uh, uh, with bread and sometimes olive so and garlic, cilantro and egg. Uh, this um, is uh, any any kind of broth. Maybe it can be used as um, the chicken broth or a beef broth or a fish broth. Uh, this um, uh, uh, serve accompanied with bread um, on top and uh, sometimes with olive oil toast, toasted in, in olive oil garlic and cilantro and egg so this is uh, 
yes look sounds uh, uh palatable so another word is that um this uh adana uh, adana is um a type of uh, turkey's uh, soup of beef stock uh, and small um, uh, meat filled with a uh, uh, sampling a uh, dumpling garnished with yogurt a uh, fresh thyme and mint also this is a, a soup in a soup top with dumpling uh, dumpling uh, made from a meat mixed mixture and uh, stuffing or shrimp inside depending on the uh, the chef uh, choice or preferred chef or uh, 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 it, it's up for the chef to fill up the the stuffing or uh, as low as this is uh, accompanied with uh, for the serve with yogurt fresh thyme and mint uh -huh. so the the next uh, terminology we call this adobado uh, this is a uh, um originated or a word from mexico and in latin america uh, chile uh, garlic herbs and marinade used to season meat um, and uh, also therefore also at a kind of filipino dish uh, that is uh, melt with uh, with uh, meat garlic and brown them into broth and vinegar and this sauce is chicken so this is different from adobado from adobo so adobo is a filipino dish consisting of meat or fish and vegetables seasoned with garlic, vinegar, soy sauce, and pepper, or oh, and coconut milk. So it depends on the individual choice if you can mix up. The you can mix coconut milk in adobo, but the usual traditional adobo in Filipino is only a soy sauce and vinegar, garlic, and pepper. So this is a unique or uh, this or uh, different um so uh, other regional. Uh, this is from a regional. Uh, cookery or from uh, from other places in the Philippines. So why adobado is a is a meat also Filipino piece of meat and garlic brown and broad so vinegar and kill sauce and this is a different uh, uh, adobo dish it's, uh, they separate so this end up uh, our seminar today and lectures uh, with uh, the making of a chef so hope you um, join us again in the next uh, video thank you for watching and see you in the next video